at the hospital when uh, when they were looking me over, uh, and there was all these little uh, puncture wounds all over my abdomen, and I guess we came up with uh, 14 or something like that, and a and a cut here. Was was this from these assailants, these people that were in the house? Well, I I assume so. You didn't do it yourself, did you? No. Uh, well, and then they said to me, you know, well, we'll have to go. We'll have to go get an X-ray. Now, when your chest is bubbling, you have a you have a pneumothorax, and uh, any any special forces medic knows that, and and any any nurse knows that. Okay, we have three people here, overkilled almost, and yet they leave you alive. Well, maybe, maybe they assumed that I was dead. If we, if we could drift back uh, a little bit. You say in the initial assault uh, there was screaming. Were there was was it screaming or were there what words? Like what? Well, I remember her hearing my wife saying, "Jeff, why are they doing this to me?" This is while you're still on the couch. Right. I heard I heard some screaming, and then I heard uh, Christy, but Kimmy. The older girl saying, Daddy, saying, Daddy, 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 Daddy. This is something I can't figure out. You know, I've gone over this a hundred times in my own mind. There's just, there's so many unanswered questions. You woke up, Cap McDonald, and you saw four people. And at the same time, you heard your wife somewhere. Right. And you, and you heard your daughter, right? right? So there must have been two more people at least. Well, I don't understand. You know, if, if they came in through the open back door and by the time they got to me, I still heard screaming, or were there more people involved than four? Six. Minimum of six. I know. In a house your size, that's, that's a lot of people. I know. There should be... Uh, <laughs> I know. There should be busted furniture, broken mirrors, a bastion wall. Oh, well, I... You, mean, you people have more experience than I do, but I mean, I wouldn't normally... I mean, I wouldn't necessarily expect that. Don't read anything into this, but if it comes to this, you willing to take a polygraph in reference to what we talked about here this morning? Sure, absolutely. Realize you don't have to. Sure, that's fine with me. You're a very well-educated man, Doctor, uh, Captain. And I'm going to be fair with you. Your story doesn't ring true. I've been in the Army for 19 years, and I've studied a lot of crime scenes, and there's something wrong with this one. I've seen all-night poker parties that cause more damage to a room. For instance, do you see anything odd about that photograph? No. That's what I first saw when I went into the house that morning. Notice the flower pot. Standing. Uh-huh. Now, notice the magazines and the uh, edge of that table. I, I don't understand the significance of that. Well, Ivory and Shaw and myself all tipped that table over. Uh, it went all the way. It never landed on its edge like that. It's top-heavy. Well, couldn't a table been pushed around during the struggle? Well, sure, it could have, but uh, it would have been upside down when it stopped. Well, what are you trying to say? This was a stage scene. You mean I staged the scene? I think so. You, th you think I'd stand up the pot if I staged the scene? Somebody stood the pot up. What you're telling me is that you're sitting there telling me that I killed my wife and kids. That's unbelievable. For God's sake, what, what, what motive do I have? What, why would I do that for? I think we could conjecture several reasons, perhaps. You, you, don't, you don't think that I was happily married? Well, I'm happily married, Captain, and I get pretty mad at my wife sometimes. Especially when I was younger and quicker to anger. You think I get mad enough at someone to, to do that? I've seen it happen before. Well, I'll tell you what it looks like to me. It, it looks like that you've, you've run out of things and you've picked someone, the easiest one. That's what it looks like to me. You've got to get it solved before the fiscal year ends so that when you put the report in, you have a 100% solve rate.
Well, now, now where do we go from here? Up to you. No, it's not up to me. I told you what I, what I know. And then you, th you throw some pictures in front of me and you tell me that I staged the scene and, and that I did it? I don't know that you did it, Captain McDonald. I don't know it at all. But my experience tells me that what you say isn't right. It took your office six weeks to question me about these things? We've been all over the United States tracing hippies and girls with long blonde hair. I understand that, but I... uh, We've talked to thousands of people. Oh, man. This is... This is a nightmare. This is like Edgar Allan Poe. I mean, apparently, you don't know much about myself or my family to come up with that conclusion, or me, for that matter. What kind of man are you? Well, I'm bright and aggressive, and I, I love my wife very much. And I work very hard, and I had a terrific family, and this is the most asinine thing I've ever heard. It's almost as bad... Ask, ask any patient I've ever treated. I've always gone out of my way. Always gone out of my way. Always help people. I love my wife more than any couple I know. I don't know any other couple that was as, that was as happy as our family. And then did you, you come up with this crap. Damn. Jeff, I've got to go with all the evidence that's available to me. Bull, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. No one ever had as good as life as I had. What the hell would I want a record for? My God, I was a doctor. I had, I had a beautiful wife who loved me and, and two kids who were great. We, we, we were just over all hard times. It, it just, it doesn't... It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. Look, Mr. Grebner, what I told you about that night is the truth. Some minor details might be hazy and confused, but the gist of what happened is what I told to the best of my ability. What, what would I possibly have gained by doing this? Gee. I mean, what would I have gained? She looks familiar, Mary. The nose looks familiar. She looks familiar, but I don't know who she is. What about this one? Looks like a girl in San Antonio. She's a nurse. I was with her one time, but didn't have intercourse with her. She wrote me one letter, and I ripped it up, threw it away. No big deal. You're more thorough than I thought. Hmm? You're more thorough than I thought. 